Good afternoon, good afternoon, of course, this is your brother Sean, the intercessor on this um, chipper hot Tuesday afternoon, so I wanted to speak on something real quick and I pray that you guys can hear me. Um, I'm seeing, and I'm not saying that I'm against convocations and revivals and you know prophetic conferences and stuff like that you know because things like this is needed so deliverance can take place and you know prophetic gifts can be activated and stuff but you know if we're just having convocations prophetic conferences and revivals just to be shouting and still leave the same way we come and came and we're going to these prophetic conferences just to you know pay to hear a prophecy or we got to really learn how to hear God's voice you know we really got to learn you know and I'm not just talking to you all I'm talking to myself as well because the Bible tells us it's not our good deeds that are going to get us into heaven it's not whether or not we speak in tongues that gets us into heaven it doesn't even matter if you are a reader of the Word of God it's not the shouting that gets us into heaven God just wants us to live holy live righteous strive to doing that it's not hard but we make it hard it doesn't matter how many revivals you have it doesn't matter how many convocations you have like the song says by william mcdowell the change that we want to see must first begin in us and when we come to that mindset where it begins in us, everything else falls in line. Everything else doesn't matter. And we really give up the sin and the sinful desires and the sinful choices and say, God, I want you. God, I really want you. And in this season, we have to learn how to be desperate for God. Because at the end of the day, after these you know engagements and church services are over it's on you you got to be desperate you can have as many church services as you want you got to be desperate and that's basically all i have to say be blessed